I say, Bertie, what a charming girl. What? Who? A Gertrude. Gertrude Winkworth. Is she? She wants me to sing tomorrow night. Sing? She'd heard from your Aunt Agatha what an expert you are on all this modern dance music. And if she thought I was you, she said I could entertain everyone after dinner tomorrow night. Well, can you sing, Gussie? Probably. What do you mean, probably? Well, I haven't tried yet, have I? I thought you could teach me a couple of those songs. Do you play the piano, Gussie? Yes. I'm better at the oboe. Really? Yeah, I think the piano is the more usual sort of thing. Uh, ah, now, this is a good one, yes. Uh, so, shall I just uh, play it through for you, give you the general idea, then you have a go? Oh, all right. All right. One, two, three, four. Some people make a fuss when the thing goes wrong. Some start to swear and cuss, others sing a song. I don't do either, that's all metal. When a thing goes wrong with me, this is what I do. I live up my finger and I say toot, toot, shush, shush, now, now, come, come. I don't need to linger when I say toot, toot, shush, shush. Stop! Are you mad? Do you think I'm going to stand up in front of people and think tweet, tweet, ha, ha, he, he, he? No, the second one's shush, shush. What does it all mean? Well, it's the absolute denier Cree, does it? As Crees goes, it's about as denier as you can get. It's absolute gibberish. Ah, well, if you want intellectual content, uh, now this is the one. Right, here we go. <clears throat> How do you feel when you marry your ideal? Ever so goosey, 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 goosey. How do you feel when the bells begin to peal? Ever so goosey, 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 goosey. Walking up the aisle in a kind of daze. Do you get the wind up when the organ plays? How do you feel when the parson's done the deal? Ever so goosey, 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 goosey. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Let me have a go. Gertrude will love this. Oh, she'd have to have a heart of stone. What do you mean, Gertrude will love this? Well, she's the one who wanted me to play. Madeline never wanted me to play. Well, Madeline doesn't think you're me. Don't you sometimes feel that Madeline's a bit, well, soppy, Bertie? Madeline? Soppy? All that business about baby bunny rabbits and the stars being God's daisy chain. No, 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 Gussie. No, Madeline's beliefs are a bit out of the ordinary, perhaps, but, but sound. Gussie, extremely sound. No, I think it would be a grave mistake for you to think of her as soppy. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? Ah, jeez. Sorry to disturb you in your lair. Not at all, sir. Well, I don't like the way things are going, Jeeves. Mr. Fink, not all appears to be besotted by this Gertrude female. I feared that this might be the case, sir. I suppose it's only to be expected. The sudden impact of a girl like Gertrude, plum spang in the middle of spring on a fat head like Gussie, weakened through constantly swilling orange juice, must be terrific. But what are we going to do, Jeeves? I have taken the liberty, sir, of arranging a three ball this afternoon between Miss Winkworth, Mr. Fink Nottle, and yourself. Golf, Jeeves? At a time like this? With Gussie? He's a terrible golfer. Well, I am to know that Gertrude takes her golf very seriously. She plays off six. Such is my understanding, sir. Well, she'll see his abysmal putting and his frankly laughable game off the tee, and she'll, she'll cast him aside like a split baffish. Jeeves, how could I ever doubt you? I could not say, sir. 